All right, guys, welcome to Tuesday. We are going to continue our journey in predicting. Um, and so we're going to review because yesterday we looked at the book Flashlight and we made some predictions on what would happen within the book. Remember, predictions are just kind of like guesses that we think what will happen. And then we prove those guesses to see if they're right or wrong. And last, yesterday, we did a book in Flashlight, and we just kind of saw what he was going to do and the things and the animals that he was going to see. So let's see what book we're going to look at today. But let's review our anchor chart. So making a prediction. A prediction is a guess. You're using pictures and text evidence to help you figure out what a prediction will be, what that book will be about, like a movie trailer, like I was explaining yesterday. A movie trailer helps you to understand what um, that movie will be about and if it's something that you're going to want to see. Same with books. So it's a guess. You still use the sentence stem, I think, because. So you have to have a reason why you're, you're making that prediction. You can't just make any prediction about anything. It's got to be what we're looking at. Before you read, you look at the title and all of the illustrations to see what that book is about. While you're reading, you stop and see if any of your predictions came true. And you decide what's going to happen next. After you're reading, you confirm them. You see, did that really happen? Was my prediction right? Was it wrong? So all these fun things that probably already happen as you read. Now we're just going to make sure we read. Now, we're going to be looking at a graphic organizer. Don't worry. You're not making one today, but you will on Friday. But I'm going to show you how to make them today, tomorrow, and Thursday. And then it'll be up to you to create your own. But... We're going to make predictions and we're going to use this graphic organizer to help us. Remember, it's using the same sentence stem. I think, and then because. Let me show you how that looks. So, we're going to look at another book together A Ball for Daisy. So, I have to make a prediction using what I see in front of me about this book. So, and I have to make sure that I understand what I'm writing and what I'm, I'm not making anything up because I mean, I have to justify and say why I chose my prediction. So I said that I think Daisy will play many games with his red ball because I can see him chasing after the ball on the cover. So I used the title and the illustrations. So I think he'll play a lot of games with the red ball because look, I see him chasing the red ball. That's all I did. So now let's see if our predictions are right. Let's look through the book. This is a wordless book again. So we're just gonna look at the pictures and see what's happening. Looks like Daisy's got a red ball. She's playing. I wonder what she's gonna play. Look, she's throwing it, chasing it, throwing it on the, on the couch. So is my prediction right? Is she playing with the ball? I wonder what's going to happen because it's only the first part of the book. I wonder what, what she's going to do with that ball. Oh, look, she sleeps with her ball. That's so sweet. I wasn't right. I thought she was going to keep playing, but she actually will sleep with her ball. That's so nice. So my prediction wasn't right. I wonder what she's going to do on the next page. <gasps> Look. She's taking the red ball. Where do you think they're going? Because look, they're on a leash and they're walking somewhere. I think they're going to go to a park. Because what would you need a ball for if you're not going to go play in a park? Let's see. I was right. They're at a park. And look, 
they're playing with the ball. I wonder what happens next. Oh no, the ball got stuck under the fence. I think the girl will come and help him. Let's see. She did, the girl came and got the ball. But look, there's a friend waiting for him. And are they playing with the ball? Oh no, his friend took the ball. Look, he's trying to get it back. Uh-oh, what happened? The ball popped. I think Daisy's gonna be really upset. Oh, what do you think is gonna happen? She's gonna have her ball. I think they'll try to make it bigger, right? Like blow it back up, let's see. Oh, look, she doesn't know what to do. It's not doing the same thing. She's really sad. She's trying to play with it and it won't work. Oh, he's still sad. I wonder what she's gonna do. What she, is she gonna fix it? I think she'll fix it. I think she will. No, look, she threw it away. And he's so sad, so I was wrong. I thought he was gonna, she was gonna fix it, but she threw it away. I wonder what happens next. Do you think she'll get him a new one? Yeah, I think she'll get him a new one too. That's what I think. Look, he's all by himself on the couch. He's so sad. I still think she's gonna get him a new one. Mm -hmm. I still think that. They're going to the park again. And look, they met their friends from the other day and they have a blue ball. I wonder, I think maybe they'll let them play. Maybe they'll let them play. I was right, they're playing. It's so nice, they're playing together. But now they're leaving. But look. They gave Daisy the blue ball. I thought that she was gonna fix it or get him a new one, but she didn't. They gave him the new ball. Oh, so was my prediction correct? Did she fix it? No, nope. the friends who busted it got him a new one. See, I had no idea. That's a pretty good book. See how predicting keeps your mind going? Try again today with your Raz Kids book. And now just don't look at your title. Try to read your books and figure out as each page goes on, what's gonna happen after each page.